take us out the game. I started creating hip hop in about the mid 90s, being caught up in a, a really great time for hip hop. Yeah, I don't stand around acting tough. Record label still wanna snatch me. I started up. writing my own rhymes and making beats. A couple friends heard my stuff. I'm like, man, this is pretty good. And so I started going to open mics, freestyling, and it just never really went away. Can't stop like a car with the brakes pop. Had a club band, K-pop, and the tank top, the package, I like the perfect game stop. Well, first I was kind of moonlighting, I guess part-timing teacher, part-time rapper. After teaching, I would go out, do shows, do open mics, travel on the weekends in the summer. I think it just kind of took over at some point when music on the internet that I was putting out just started kind of spreading. I call my sound New Retro because it's highly influenced by the 80s and 90s, uh, by pop culture, by stand-up comedy, by video games, by all types of uh, fun things that I came up doing and listening to. Anime, cartoons, comics. Not fair, boy, I'm OP, OP. None of these rappers can hold me. I'm OP, OP. I've moved into creating what's called chip hop, which is chip tune sounds, using those to make hip hop music. It just takes me to a really fun, innocent place. I think just being able to escape, you know, I mean, one moment in the day where I could sit down and become something else, you know, jump into that screen, be a character or a warrior in a world that I didn't understand and that I was learning more about every day. Video game culture saved my life. It kept me out of so much trouble. So many of my friends have got locked down or worse, being out in the middle of a wrong situation while I was at home playing Tech Mobile. As you can see, it's unlikely that I'm hungry, but you know. It's an honor for Coors Light to hit up a guy who's a, a teacher turned musician who makes video game influenced art, because I feel like this is um, the traditional Philly story about the underdog making it through. Boy, I'm OP. For so much of my life, I'd heard people say, man, no one's gonna wanna hear that. Like, you know, it's too positive or it's too quirky, it's too different. So I'm honored that a company like Coors Light would call a little old teacher from Philly.